hi guys welcome back to my channel if you don't know who I am I am Becky I'm 23 years old and I am from North Wales I'm currently studying at Edge Hill University doing a masters in mental health in today's video I'm going to be doing my March beauty buys and um, as you've seen this month already I have spent a lot which I shouldn't have um, I need to be put on a ban I say this every month but I'm being serious now but today Colourpop have just launched or has told us that they are launching a Disney Lizzie McGuire collection I grew up with Lizzie McGuire I cannot say no to that honestly these brands need to stop with all their good launches and everything because I am poor Today's video is March Beauty Buys and as you've seen already I've done a Beauty Bay haul this month and a Doll Beauty haul this month so this is what I bought that didn't come in them orders Um, it's still quite a bit so I placed a Revolution order and I, they bought out their new blushes are they the same? No. They bought out their new blushes, um, so I picked a few of the shades up. I'm wearing this one today. It is quite bright for my liking, but I'm not sure if it's because I put too much on or what. I, I don't use liquid blush that often. I think I need to get used to it. These were £5 each, which I think is a bargain. Um, also, I didn't like the foundation that I've got on today, which you'll see in a first impressions video. Um, but you'll see why my face looks like this in that video, basically. Um, these are, they are nice shades and they are really blendable. Because when I was doing it on my hand, it was so much easier. I think it's just the wrong foundation and the wrong application. Um, so this one is... Oh, I don't think they've got the shades. Oh, yeah, they have. This one is Fake the Flesh. Um, I'll see if I can swatch these. Um, so this is Fake the Flesh, which is, like, they're so nice and smooth and blendable. Um, but she is a, bit, uh, a, bit, a little bit luminous. But if I don't get on with these, I will just sell them to someone else that might get on with them because they were only a fiver like I said so the next one is you had me at first blush I didn't try this one because I thought this was going to be even brighter than the one I've got on because of how pink it is but yeah I've not even I, yeah I just think this is too bright I just think that's too bright for me maybe if it was toned down a little bit I think this would look gorgeous on darker skin tones honestly that would look good the next one i got is flushing for you which is so my shade i should have tried this one in my first impressions but i didn't and whose fault is that mine um and i'll just swatch these if you want a separate video on these i don't mind doing it yeah that is more my shade i think we've got blush me up which is quite dark actually this might be again tailored to deeper skin tones um this kind of looks like a contour shade for me that is a gorgeous color but definitely definitely too dark for my skin tone I feel like they could have bought more shades of these out because they are blushes i feel like they could be more universal but yeah they did have another shade which i couldn't pick up because it was out of stock then the next thing i picked up from one of alex's patreons it's the be perfect clientele palette i've heard so many amazing things about this and she's literally only swatched it a few times um how gorgeous are them colours like that green man that green oh. they're literally like better i'm just sticking my finger in now like 
they are literally like butter that black i don't use black because i don't think I like i can blend it well and get away with it but that black is amazing if you want a good black get this palette <laughs> i picked up this because i wanted this for a very very long time um and i got it for quite a bargain i think i got it for 12 pounds um so yeah that's the only reason why i picked it <laughs> Also with the Revolution order, I picked up the Liquid Mermaid Scales Liquid Highlighter. Online, it did not look green, um, so I don't think this is for me because it is green. I probably am going to put this in a giveaway um, for one of you guys because, like I said, it's not, it's not for me. <laughs> um, but these retail are six pounds, and I decided to pick up the salicylic acid blemish touch up stick um because i think it's quite new um as it was in the new in section and i have quite a few blemishes here that you probably can't see um but yeah and it's also clear and it's supposed to be good to go under makeup so like i can apply it and then put makeup over it um, it's also vegan and cruelty free which is great and it helps target blemishes clear formula to use under makeup yeah um, this was eight pounds I think so I can't wait to try this and then the next thing is the chilled palette I actually bought this last month it just didn't come in time for last month's beauty buys um, and I managed to pick this up for three quid and um, so it's the marijuana palette as i call it um it's basically cannabis isn't it let's be honest um so it's got beautiful greens I don't usually go for greens but i can't wait to try i'm not sure what i feel like about that glitter but it is pigmented very pigmented palette guys some of these shades are different formulas i've just had a really buttery shade some grainy shades some glittery shades and some smooth shades but for three quid couldn't say no very pigmented i like the next thing i picked up from lucy's patreon group i think it was or it could have been alex's um and it's the mint to be ColourPop palette i've wanted this for the longest time i was going to stick it on a ColourPop order then i didn't end up doing a ColourPop order because i was like becky you really you need to save money you just spent a ridiculous amount on beauty bay and doll beauty stop um and i'm pretty sure she was selling this for 10 pounds i think it was or 12 pounds um so it's the mint to be one she has literally only swatched the colors like perfect condition um and i thought it was perfect for spring like the perfect springy colors and they are so pigmented like look at them can't wait to use that i actually can't get them off my hands that's how pigmented and good quality the formulas are super drag i picked up this mua pro based longwear matte foundation if you'd like to see my review on this it will be in my first impressions video um loads of people rave about it i did actually order it in 110 and they gave me it in 104 and yeah there was nothing i could do about it because i did it online um and then i picked up the maybelline fit me concealer i've tried this in the past but not in my shade and so i thought buy it in your shade <laughs> just buy it in your shade so i did um and then i also bought a NYX butter gloss in the shade Madeline because I needed to make up delivery for it to be delivered and they didn't have the stuff that I wanted those two items in my local super drug for me to go pick up so I was like let's try a NYX butter gloss I've never tried them and they used to be really 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 overhyped when I was younger so we got the shade Madeline or Madeleine or what, however you want to say it I like that i think that will look really nice over a lot of nude shades i can't remember if i included this in last month's you'll have to let me know 
It's the Huda Beauty Pencil. I've only remembered about it now because I've just done my eyebrows with it for the fittest impressions. If I included it in last month's whips, I've also included it in this month's. This is £15. The next item is the Be Perfect new lipsticks. They've bought a new lipstick range out and I thought I'd pick up one of the shades that I liked and I ended up going for Beat for the Gouds. It's a warm nude with a mesmerising impact that can be seen from the stage. Um, so look how gorgeous this packaging is. It's so like, this is giving me Ariana Grande vibes. Um, but I think that I, it's gorgeous. Um, and yeah, it's the, is it blue? Hydrangea? I don't know how to say it. It's this new range basically, I've still got swatches on me, and this is again supposed to be a warm nude, how oh, gorgeous, I think that, that I'll just swatch it for you, it's the first time swatching it, I think it is a matte lipstick, um, it kind of has an orange undertone, like a little bit of a burnt orange sort of vibe going, um, but yeah, this was £11, I think. Um, but yeah, I just really like the shade online. It does look different in person, but I still like it. But yeah. So that's the end of March's Beauty Buys. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.